Former military president General Ibrahim Babangida is again calling for a reform of the Nigerian system for a more result-oriented federation. Well, he says he believes in the restructuring of a country if it means giving more powers to the state. While ruling out a military incursion into politics again, he adds that Nigerians are more interested in becoming a truly democratic nation. The general shared his views with Channel's television's political analyst, La Lwakoni, on Inside Sources. In 1989, we set up a committee, uh, this one on devolution of powers, and uh, late may his soul rest in peace, Al Haji Abdurrahman Okene. Okay, yeah. uh, he looked at that. This is because we were thinking at that time mm. how we will get the federation structured. Even though we are a military mm -hmm. regime mm -hmm. then, but we were thinking about it. I believe in restructuring, if it means devolution of powers to the states to give them more powers in that means that you are going to give them more resources mm. to run their own affairs so that we run a federal government the way federal federation is run all over the world mm. yeah so far we've not we've not in my view and this is my personal view uh, general so far, we've not managed to do a good job of running that federal system. There seems to be a lot of uh, a unitary mentality. And many people think that was because of the incursion of military into politics. What, what, what's your take on that? I think that's one of the effects of uh, the aberration of the military regime. If it tampered with the democratic process, mm. such things happen. But I believe that it wouldn't appear, it wouldn't happen again, uh, because the Nigerians are becoming more interested in becoming a truly democratic country, a nation, at least in Africa. And uh, such things will not, I don't think it will happen. But I put the question to you, sir. What kind of structure do you think is ideal for Nigeria, politically? Well, politically, if you recall, you must be a very young man by that time. But if you call in about immediately after the independence, yes, yeah. Nigeria tended to gravitate towards two political party systems. You, what the number of parties you have, they later come back form coalition, yes. so as to gain power and power. so on. So it happened in the first republic, it happens in the second republic, and uh, it showed itself again in third, and even the no. current republic is that gravitation. So. Two parties, to us at that time, we believe Nigerians are capable of running two-party system. And it saves you a lot of wahala, mm -hmm. no rancor. If the more parties you have, people will get their villages to say mm -hmm. that they control their villages, so they have to be recognized mm -hmm. as a political party. This is the fact of this country. You must accept it when you say no. Somebody will tell you yes. Somebody will tell you no, you can do it this way better. It's a country of ideas. So take advantage of those ideas so as to do what they have always tended to think that that should be the right thing. Mm.